Hey guys, and welcome back to another Warframe episode. Today is episode 28 of our Warframe Down Efficiently series. And yeah, we are still progressing, guys. But unfortunately, I have been away for the last five days. So when last episode ended, it was actually only halfway through the week. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of catching up to do. Um, hence, we didn't get to MR25 last episode, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. But today, since we're MR24, we'll be looking to get to MR26, hopefully. And in order to do that, we're probably going to need to, yeah, get our hands on probably some more Warframes. Um, if you remember, we actually did complete, or not complete, but we managed to collect all of the, all of the companions that we needed. So we just need to guild them and rank them up, and then they'll be done. And that's quite a lot of XP stored in those, or MR, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's good. And the other thing as well, since I got back quite late on Sunday, uh, there were a few clan mates around willing to just, you know, accompany me in farming some Steel Essence. So we now have, from last week, the Umbral Former. As you can see here, I've plastered it on Vault. So Vault is now essentially complete. I'm never touching this build again. It's, it's, it's so solid now, it's unreal. Uh, we've now got all three Umbral mods on. Uh, and as you can see, that's brought our strength right up to 267%. Um, and we've also... Uh, I've shifted around some things here, so not a lot. But you can see we've got a Tau Forged Crimson. Two normal. Tau Forged Amber Shard with casting speed. And then a Tau Forged Asia Archon Shard for plus 225 armor. So, yeah. That's uh, that's where we're at with the Vault build. And obviously, as we get the, uh, the Tau Forged Shards, I'm going to be replacing these. Um, out at some point just so that we have everything and even, you know, if we get, I don't know a, th a, f a fourth Tau Forged Crimson at some point then that'll probably replace the Tau Forged Asia Shard as well um, but for now, this build is yeah, it's just great and at some point I think we'll probably look to do some Fashion Frame on Vault um, I'm debating whether to do that, maybe you guys can um, you know, give me a give me an idea as to how you want me to do fashion frame in this because obviously I don't want to spend money but most of the fashion frame I'm going to be going for is going to be um what's it called oh I can't remember what it's called whatever the one that the community makes um Tenogen that's what it is so we're going to be using Tenogen stuff to to deck out our warframes I do have a bit of money on my steam account already from selling various like CSGO skins and things so you know we can use that um, but I want to know if you guys want me to do that, you know, once we've obviously done everything like we said we were going to, or whether you're, you're, you prefer if I did start doing some fashion frame before that point. Um, so yeah, let me know down in the comments what you fancy, uh, and we'll go ahead and maybe make our, our vault look a bit fancy. Um, in other news, I've also, um, uploaded now a couple weeks ago, actually, uh, the clan logo for our clan. We now have about 50 members in our clan, so it is growing quite fast, um, we're still open for applications, you know. The more people that join, the more barracks we'll throw on. We've already researched everything, so there's no impact upon resources. So, yeah, if you do want to join, leave a comment down below or, you know, just message me in-game. Drop us an application. Efficient Tenno is the name of the clan. Uh, and we'll get you signed up. Uh, but, yeah, everything's going well. One more thing I wanted to ask as well of you guys. We are, I'm doing a lot more stuff with the clan recently uh, in terms of, you know, farming things and... and trying to help people do Eidolon hunts and all that good stuff. It's been going really well, so I'm happy with that. Um, if you guys want, uh, and I've, I've, you know, it's not going to be like a full-on episode kind of video like these are, or even my edited videos that I release on Fridays, but I was thinking maybe we could do a separate video just sort of midweek of stuff I've been doing with the clan. Um, maybe some group, you know, group builds, I don't know. We'll see, but... Yeah, I was thinking of getting a third video out maybe midweek and, and changing the uh, the Warframe Done Efficiently episode to a Monday uh, and then do Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos. But, you know, that's that's probably going to be a bit in the future if it does happen. But I just wanted to get your guys' ideas on that um, before I even thought about doing it, really. Uh, but, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. So this episode, like I said, we're getting out to MR26. We are going to need to get some serious uh, serious items together for this, I think. And... I think the first step is going to be to gather up all of the Kuva weapons. Uh, we gathered up all of the Tenet weapons before last episode even began. Well, we didn't get the the ones with the Corrupted Hollow Keys. We got this a bit later, but we did get them during the episode. So we now have every single Tenet weapon at our disposal. 
So the next step now is to get all of the Kuva weapons at our disposal. And there is a lot more Kuva weapons, and farming Kuva liches takes a lot longer than farming Sisters of Parvos. Now, I do have a few things that are going to help me out with that. For example, I have access to three awls. So that's already basically three guaranteed that I can get first time if I wanted to. I think I can put all of these on at once, right? Or can I only put one on? Uh, I think I can only put one on. Well, that's a shame. But, you know, we have three awls that we can use. So we have nine nine charges of all that can be used up so that's really good uh we can even re-roll some of these actually now that's good um but yeah happy 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 and i also have quite a few or not quite a few i have like a couple i think where are they yeah requiem ultimatums i've only got one now hmm. but you know we'll be doing that um so yeah i think the best way to do this guys um i'm not sure i'm gonna put, put a lot of this on camera um, if you didn't see my video on Friday, that's essentially what I'm going to be doing for hunting these Kuva Liches, so go ahead and have a look at that. But yeah, I'm just going to be powering my way through this now, um, and yeah, hopefully, in a bit, we will have every single Kuva weapon. It shouldn't take me too long. We already have a fair few, actually. I did take a look. Um, you know, we've already got... Uh, let's just search Kuva. So we've got... Uh, yeah, Kuva Kong, Kuva Ogres, Kuva Heck. We also have Kuva Brahma, which is in my foundry right now. I haven't taken it out. You can see our Platinum's also very low, so we're going to need to get ourselves some more Platinum. I might turn my Warframe Market profile on. It's been a while. Uh, we also have the Kuva Nucor here. I don't think we have the melee weapon for it, to be honest. No. Um, so, you know, we've already got five Kuva weapons. I can't remember how many there are total, but there are a lot. So we better get going, guys. So, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay guys, so I thought I'd try and get some platinum together, um, and you know, Eidolon hunts, why not? So one came up, but man, I just did the quick charge and the Terralis just didn't spawn, like at all. I don't know if this is like a bug or <laughs> whether I did something wrong, I don't know. <laughs> Let me try again. Uh, that's really weird, I don't understand. I did check the map fully before I started recording there. One of my clan mates said it happened to him, but nothing spawned. But we are getting spawns. So, fast charge. Nothing. It's not spawning. Why is it not spawning? <laughs> I've never seen this happen before. It, it's... He's definitely nowhere. Like, there is no terrorist spawning right now. Let me... Let me go out. I'm not even going to do the fast charge. I'm just going to go out and in and see if he decides to pop up. Okay, so no fast charge. We're just going to look, see if we can see his blue light anywhere. I I don't see it at all. He's just not spawning. Okay, that's so weird. What the hell? Let me know down in the comments, guys, if you've had this problem before. Um, let me just kind of... I'll go back to Orbiter. This will probably fix it, but that's really, really annoying. That's never happened to me before. I don't, I don't quite know why that happened. And it was like the third run in as well. I got into the run three and then just nothing. Just, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's check. Okay, he's spawning far. Alright, well, 
yeah, that's kind of weird. All right, guys. So we are getting there. Uh, we're over halfway through now getting our, our Kuva weapons together. Uh, let's see what this guy is going to gonna bring us. Not a whole lot, it seems. Um, so, yeah, whilst, uh, whilst I've been off camera there, we have got all of uh, this stuff going uh, in our craftables right here. So you can see I'm building some stuff that we've already mastered. That's because it feeds into something else. Um, so, so bear that in mind. Uh, we do have to build a load of weapons again to make more weapons. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I started making a mesher as well. Uh, we've got some arcwing stuff here. And then in terms of Kuva weapons, uh, in here we've got the Kraken, uh, the Kuva Ianga, uh, Kuva Drak Goon. Uh, what else? There were more. Kuva Zar, Kuva Shakur. There's definitely more than that, but I don't know where they've gone. I think I might have, uh, I might have taken a few. Let's have a look. Um, so we've already mastered three of these, and then we've also got the Kuva Quartek and the Kuva Brahma. Uh, and then in here we've got the uh, the Kuva Nucor, and the Lich we just took on was the Kuva Brack. Uh, so that's all good, and we don't have the Kuva Shield Egg yet, so yeah. We're making some good progress, guys. And I also uh, started trying to rank up the uh, the K drives. Uh, as you can see here, I've got one, or I thought I had one out of the way. Yeah, I did. So Runway's out of the way, so I just started on Bad Baby now. And then we've got to go through the rest. Um, I'll probably get Void Rig up to 30 and then stop. It, it's not worth all the former right now, and th that takes a long time. So, yeah, probably not. Uh, we've still got loads of amps we can do. There's there's so much stuff that we do that we can do that we have access to. I've still got two of these missing, as you can see. My Pharaoh Predator site still isn't maxed out, uh, but our robotic is now done. Uh, we're getting we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Um, it's just going to take a, a bit of time still. I do have an Idus Prime building as well. Uh, we've still got you know 32 frames to max out, most of which are Prime frames. To be fair. But, you know, there's still a few normal Cora, normal Harrow, Hildren, uh, Baruch, I know we haven't done yet. Uh, is that it? Uh, that might be it. Oh, Caliban, yeah, we still haven't done Caliban. Okay, but, you know, not a whole lot. Um, I am trying to get our Platinum Reserves back up. It's, it's tricky to kind of weave it in time-wise, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, we, we, we unfortunately may not make a lot of progress uh, this week, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, it's just time constraints, guys, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm trying to pack so much into the few days that I'm around each week that it's becoming a bit of a struggle. So, we'll keep going as much as we can. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll, we'll for sure be getting up to MR25, no doubt about that. Um, it's just whether or not we can then reach MR26 afterwards, so... Yes. We'll have to see. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys an update, and uh, I'll catch you in a bit. Alright, guys. So, just a quick update. Um, I still haven't started ranking up the Kuva weapons yet. I thought I'd just kind of intersperse it, because, yeah, farming Kuva liches solidly for hours on end is just mind-numbing, so... I'm doing something even more mind-numbing, which is ranking up K-Drives, and I think this is an okay way to do it. Um, this is just the race on Deimos. It's, uh, I'm not sure if it matters what K-Drive race you do, whether or not they give more or less, but, um, yeah, I seem to get a decent amount per run, so I'm just going to be doing this over and over again. This is actually the last one I need to rank up. I did the last few uh, a bit earlier on in the week, so once we have done this, which is the Fever Spine, uh, we will have ranked up all of the K-Drives as well. Uh, I've also done all of the Companions now, so both Kavats are now ranked up, which is nice. Uh, and we are extremely close to MR5 now. In fact, we might we might be there after uh, this one. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, it's, um, it's looking good. So hopefully we can get to MR26. We'll see. As we've still got yeah, loads of stuff to rank up, including the Kuva weapons. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep going, guys. Get this done. Uh, and then we will we will move on. 
Alright guys, so we are ready for MR25. Let's take a look here, we are now maxed out, so... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that now. Um, I've got a few days left before I need to kind of stop recording this episode, so... We'll see if we have enough time to get to MR26. I am around for the weekend this time around, so might be able to put some time into it then. Uh, and we do have quite a lot still to rank up. And some stuff still in our foundry. In fact, I've maxed out some other stuff now, so I can maybe do... Yeah, let's do this. Uh, that'll free up some weapon spots as well. Uh, I also got the torpedo down, which goes into the lesion. That's good. What else? I think the Kraken, is that right? We're going to need more cryotic for that, unfortunately. I did farm up a load of cryotic yesterday, actually, but... Yeah, we've already used it all. Damn. Uh, okay, well, yeah, let's get into this then. So this one, I believe, is like an archwing... Kind of arch archwing test? I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah, I've just taken Volt here. If it's if I'm able to use Operator, then I've obviously got Kuva Ogress on. If I am not able to use Operator, then I will just use the Kuva Nucor, which I have put on my secondary. And since it's an Arcing test, we might as well take Volt, because we can move a lot faster. Kind of confusing. Okay, let's use this. Is this melee? Yeah. Oh no, no deployable archwing like that! I'm gonna fall off. So, oh, I see, okay. I got it, I got it! <laughs> Game freezing. Oh my god, I keep, I keep trying to press three. This is so confusing. Three is what, three is what my arc wing is bound to. <laughs> oh! It almost makes me feel like it would be easier to actually not use Arcwing, but, you know. Well, we're out of ammo. No way. <laughs> What? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ah oh, no, I'm bugged. Okay. This one feels very janky. But we did it. That was stupid, but... You know, whatever. <clears throat> a few uh, weird little interactions happening there, and obviously I couldn't help myself but try and spawn my own arc wing, so... <laughs> Whoops. Alright, um, yeah, I guess I'll just keep going, guys. Uh, we'll see how close we can get to MR26. If we can get there, obviously that's great, uh, but if not, we'll, we'll do that next episode. Oh. Getting enough time to do this each week is becoming a problem, but, you know... What can you do? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to carry on, guys, and I will catch you in a second. Alright, guys, so we're back, and we now have every single Kuva weapon. Oh man, it took us a while, uh, but as you can see here, these are all gathered up. Most of them are level 0, bar the ones we've already, uh, we've already maxed. Um, thank you to Mooj, uh, particularly... Uh, and also Saber Shadow for sticking with me throughout that farm. It was very long and very tedious. We got lucky on a few, but to be honest, most of those liches took a long while. So yeah. Now that we have all of these, that's a good amount of XP stashed up ready for us to collect. I've also been thinking about uh, starting work on some primed frames so as you can see here we've already got some harrow frames building um so yeah that's all on the go elytron is building yeah we've, we've actually got quite a lot going and i've just been um kind of adding some stuff together to see how much we're gonna need so 
if I get my page up here. So in terms of frames, if we wanted to just buy everything, which to be honest is what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fill in bits that I'm missing for various sets. We're going to need a grand total of 1,516 platinum. Uh, so you can see I have 572 ready to go. And in terms of what I've got in my Warframe market profile, we've got close to 800 platinum worth of energizers and also a few other bits and bobs. Total, it totals at about 975 platinum right now. So we've got enough to get us there, just... Uh, but I'm going to keep doing some idle on hunts just so that we can, you know, comfortably get over that. And then we can get some Warframe slots because we're going to need a lot of Warframe slots for them. Uh, but as we as we get each one, so like, for example, Atlas or Ash, we can then run the other frame through the grinder, through the helmets, and that will free up a slot. Because uh, we don't need a, a primed version and a normal version of every frame. That's just ridiculous. Uh, every time we get a primed version of a frame, we'll get rid of the normal version. That's just how we're going to do it. Then we don't have to buy excess slots. Um, so yeah, I'll be getting on with that. We also need to be yeah farming up some some other parts and some weapons because we're going to be struggling to get to the next kind of two levels otherwise and we're going to need to maybe buy some mutagen mass and and field drone samples so maybe i'll get back on the invasions uh just so we can stash up a few of those and we also need nitane extract we are running very very low on nitane extract and i am very very conscious that we're about to run into things like vorban prime which is gonna just cost us an absolute boatload uh so yeah it's uh oh god i'm not looking forward to that at all but yeah, we got to do it. We got to do it. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to try and just obviously rank up everything that I have to hand at the moment. We will see how close to MR26 we get. As you can see, we're only part way into to it at the moment. And I think once we've done all the Kuva weapons, we'll be down at about 70,000 left to go. Um, so, you know, we still got a ways, a ways to go. All the Kuva weapons will probably get us to halfway. Uh, up to level 30, that is. I'm not going to take them to level 40. So, yeah. We're going to do that now. Uh, and then, yeah, depending on where we are, I'll see if I can perhaps get some more things to rank up. But if not, we may have to leave MR26 to next episode. I don't know. I'm, I'm just running out of time at the moment. So, yeah. It's uh, it's a bit of a grind, uh, but we are we are still churning through. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a second. Okie dokie, guys. So we are now ready to get to MR26. Uh, I didn't think we'd get here, but we did. So yeah, that's all good. Um, we are only just there, mind you. Uh, we literally had the perfect amount of stuff to rank up uh, to get here. So for next week's episode, we are probably not going to be doing much in the way of ranking up. It'll be more in the way of gathering. You can see we've still got a lot of stuff to collect. Um, and you may have noticed throughout this episode, my platinum has been going up and down like crazy. Uh, and there is a good reason for that, but we'll go into it next episode. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got MR26 test to do. This is another mobile defense. We've actually done this one already, essentially. But this time around, we need to, yeah, not leave the mobile defense points so much. Because if we leave the mobile defense points, then they are going to, well, they're going to run out. So... Or they'll decay, sorry. Rather than maintain their capturedness, uh, they will decrease in capturedness. So we need to stay inside the circle. Uh, and last time we did run Vault. I'm debating whether or not to run Wukong this time because of how fast the platforms accelerate. Um, I think, I think I'm just gonna stick with Vault. I don't, I don't, I don't think we need to really change anything about that. So let's get get into it. Uh, if we don't get it this first time around, then I'll just do it tomorrow <laughs> and add it onto the video. It's not a problem. Uh, right. Oh, and then, yeah, we've got to jump over stuff as well. It's going to be fun. So I think I'll uh, I'll probably do most of this off camera. I wonder what I can use in the way of like gear. Can I use gear? 
No, I can't use gear. That's kind of upsetting. Maybe I should have taken Wukong for my clone. But, yeah. Like I said, guys, I'll do most of this off camera. It's fairly straightforward, so, um, yeah. He says, falling to his death. Alright guys, so this is the last one. And yeah, we've still got two minutes left on the timer. All good. Happy days. So yeah, we're MR26 now. My goodness. We are quickly moving through the ranks. It is good. That's three weeks in a row now we've managed to get two extra MR. So yeah, very happy with our progress so far. Um, but yeah, we've run out of time for this episode. Next episode, uh, we are going to be probably, yeah, like I said, just gathering up loads of stuff, uh, ready for continual ranking up. Uh, I think the biggest problem we're going to be running into, and something I'm probably going to maybe do a bit off camera, uh, or maybe at the start of next episode, is we're going to need to catch up a bit on Nightwave, because we're going to need some more um, some more credits. Uh, it would also be nice to get, you know, three energized so we can get some more platinum as well. And the former, I guess. So, yeah. We'll probably focus on that a bit, try and get ourselves a few more uh, credits. Main reason being that, you know, I want to get uh, more night. I'm going to need more nighting, basically. Uh, we are down to our last three, as you can see. So every 50 we get is obviously going to be an extra 15 nighting and extract, which is going to be very important, uh, particularly for what I want to do next episode. So, yeah. We'll end the episode here. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one, guys. I'll see you later.